today is a celebration. And it's a celebration of what God has done in your lives, what God is doing, and I know what God will be doing. And for over 10 years, I've known you. I've seen how the Lord has groomed you and made you to be more and more like Him. And I've seen you in different situations. Uh, we've laughed together. We've cried together. We've been in countries where people have eaten food that make a billy goat puke, and we decided not to eat that food, and we wanted to live. And I've seen you on a mountain peak, scared to death when we were repelling off this peak. I saw it in your eyes. But you trusted the system that we were tied up to. And, God has created you, and you embody the sweetness of the realness and joy of Christ. And those that know you know that's true. Jordan, I love your love for people and your zeal for the Lord. And I love how you love to share that. I remember the first time I was going to meet you, I was like, all right, we're going to meet in my hometown. I was excited. I was, I was thinking, okay. And when I first met you, my eyes weren't on you. So I was thinking, do you love her? That wasn't my first thought. My first thought was, I'm going to watch her to see if she loves you. And in that, I was like, well, oh, she's got that. But in my mind, I'm going, why is that? And it's because you love Christ first. And that is so important. As a pastor, I see this in, in counseling married couples. For years and years, they struggle. They think marriage completes them. Marriage does not complete you. Christ does. God's holy plan and with God's gracious help. 